Good morning, everyone. So if you click this video, you most likely have a Lucas Girling brake system in your truck. A truck similar to this Ford F800. That is my tow truck. And if you have a Lucas Girling brake set up in your truck, you will have an axle similar to this one. So my issue is my truck is very odd. Um, it originally is an eight lug 19.5 truck. Um, I've only found one other truck. It's a guy up in Canada. He's actually um, has a tow truck too. It's the same, same truck as mine. Uh, F800 22,000 GVW with eight lug axles. So my issue was I have 15 by five brakes and I could not find the parts. The only alternative I had was uh, a company in Canada and they gave me a six to eight week lead time on sending my parts out and uh, they would send me a new setup, but I didn't have that time because this is my only truck. So I will show you exactly what I did to swap out the Lucas Girling brake style for a, another setup. So let's get on under this truck. And as you see here, I have a pinion mounted parking brake setup. So that is a drum that is on the rear axle that is set up through a brake cable that you can see. And I ran the brake cable through the frame all the way to a parking brake handle. And that works just as good. I actually had um, tested it. There's a hill right here at my shop that's a pretty good slant down. And uh, we tested it numerous times, loaded, unloaded. Um, and, and to be honest, like it, it holds um, just as good as the Lucas Girling brakes did. So no problems there. I know that's a worry with some people. And the next question I'm going to have is, what axle did you use? Um, to be honest, I used a 2008 International 3300 school bus axle, which is the same dimension from left to right, um, same exact width. I think, it's, I think it's something like 60 inches. So this axle and that axle had the same measurements here to here. The only issues I had installing this was on our axles for the Fords. This leaf spring hold down pin um, is here on the international axle. It is here. So how I solved that problem was quite simple. Let me get in here. So I took the original to my truck leaf spring hold down and all I did was um, widen it. I milled it out. This axle is wider I believe it is, uh, I think it's uh, four and a quarter inches. I don't really remember right now. Um, so what I did, I did use the stock F800 leaf springs. <clears throat> I did replace mine at the same time, which I would recommend. I used the F800 U-bolt plate. And it was, uh, it was a pretty easy swap. The biggest issue I had was, um, the, the school bus axle, they come with automatic transmissions. And because of that, they have more gears um, in the automatic transmission. So my truck is a five-speed manual and the axle that I got had 588 gears. So what I had to do was pretty simple, a little expensive, but what I did was order a new um, differential complete swap out. It's basically like a four nine inch if you guys are familiar with those um, or most commercial axles, just unbolts. So this axle housing, or not housing, this differential, this axle differential was the one that came in my school bus axle. Um, so all I did, because my max speed, <laughs> I did run it um, for a week. Uh, my max speed was 45 miles an hour. And that is, uh, that is not good for a tow truck. So what I ended up doing was ordering a new, um, completely rebuilt uh, dif uh, differential assembly from LKQ Heavy Truck. And I think it was, uh, I think it was, it's like 2250 shipped, 373 gears. And with a five speed transmission, uh, my new max speed is about 70. 
So it's not the best, but it's all right. 95 truck shouldn't uh, shouldn't go faster than 70 anyways. Um, as far as anything else I swapped out, it's all pretty much original. All these plates, this right here, um, did have to custom make. I just got a you know a straight flat piece of bar and cut it to length and made it so the U-bolts would sit in there. But every other thing was fine. This piece, because of the um, the difference in the axle uh, leaf spring pin, which is what I showed you out here. So going back to this. Like I said, this is the Ford axle that was in it, Lucas Garling brakes. This is here. The axle I swapped has it here. So all I did was measure and drill a new hole. So it still has the hole for this one. Just made it so it has a hole to fit that one. Everything fit. So I found a school bus axle that is also an 8 lug. And it is an 8 lug hub pilot setup. Exactly like... The F800 8 lug hub uh, pilot. So for you guys with 10 lug trucks, all you'll need to do is find a school bus axle, an international school bus axle that is 10 lug hub uh, pilot. And it'll work. Pretty amazing. A couple other things to note. I did have to get a new flange on the end of the drive shaft to fit the uh, larger U-joint. And I did have to get the original drive shaft shortened. I believe, uh, I believe we had it shortened by one and a half inches, but obviously you'll have to measure your truck. Every truck's different. Uh, overall, this swap took me about a week just because, like I said, I replaced the leaf springs. I'd recommend it. You don't have to. I did replace the uh, hangers because the bushing hole on mine was all worn out. But, you know, disc brakes, definitely yeah definitely a better upgrade than the original and I enjoy it thoroughly um, like I said it is a hand parking brake and how you're going to ask me did I bypass the Lucas Girling hydraulics that is quite simple so I traced the line that runs to the rear chambers all I did was cap it on the pump. Brakes work fine. It's flowing, everything's working as it should. Still have, you know, the fill pump, everything. And I actually, uh, I'm pretty lazy, haven't, uh, haven't removed it yet. Where is it? Right here. You can see that hose that zip tied up. That is actually the hose that was teed off for the rear chambers. So all I did was disconnect the hose that goes to the rear chambers, zip tie it up, and plug that uh, plug that fitting. You know, could make it cleaner. This is actually the hose right here. One day, when I have time, I will remove that hose all the way back and delete it. But it's not a necessity. All right, guys, and I know another question is the master cylinder hydro boost setup that is original i did not have to swap it out um, and as far as the brake lines all i did was use the original t in the f800 truck bolted it down to the new axle and ran brake lines from that fitting to the hoses the hoses on this axle are female threaded on the other ends and all I did was just run brake lines to them. Like I said, all together, real simple swap. And that, my friends, is how you delete Lucas Girling brakes and swap an axle in a medium duty F series truck. Any other questions you guys have, comment below uh, and I'll answer them as best I can. Thank you.